My write-up of that last crime was so ingenious that Perlock Publishing tossed me quite a tidy sum. I believe this next one will do even better. It's baffling. The room was locked. How did the murderer get in and out? Well now, I didn't ask about this. I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. I'm just the housekeeper, but Mr. Cashin was a dear friend. Each morning I bring him his coffee. Today his door was locked shut. My husband is the caretaker. We live downstairs. We have the keys to all the apartments, so after knocking, I became concerned and let myself in and found him like this. <laughs> Mr. Cashin is... was a respected music critic. A very accomplished man. The lights weren't working. My husband didn't want to waste any candles, so we retired early. Well, now, I didn't ask about this.
I should go back and ask about this. Gone just like that, eh? He lived right next door and often came home from his concerts a bit drunk and singing at the top of his lungs. Drove my wife near crazy. Cashin had an eye for the ladies, no question. I was a bit jealous of him, frankly. <laughs> I was down in the cellar, fiddling with my experiments. I'm an amateur chemist. Henman let me set up a few experiments in the cellar. That belongs to Mr. Golden. He's an awfully nice chap. We let him use our apartment during the day when my wife and I are out tending our shop. He likes to rehearse here where the light's better. Mr. Cashin is dead? I just saw him yesterday. He looked in the peak of health. If you ask me, he paid a bit too much attention to the caretaker's wife. Scandalous, really. They must have seen each other nearly every day. Last night, I was knitting in that chair. Then I felt quite sickly and opened the window to clear my head. I certainly didn't hear anything. When the lights quit working yesterday, that sweet Mr. Golden handed out candles to everyone. He's such a nice man. I worked very late. So did he. I only met him once or twice in the two years I've been living here. I was out giving a benefit recital for unemployed musicians. Several dozen people can attest to my whereabouts. Well now, I didn't ask about this. I use them to create an ambience when I hold private recitals. I should return and find out about this. I wonder if someone could tell me more about this.
Mr. Cashin's dead. Difficult to believe. He led a quiet life. Out of concerts most nights. Shut up in his room writing the rest of the time. He must have been a lonely man. My wife felt sorry for him and helped him as often as she could. I'm in charge of the running and upkeep of the whole building. So I can get dirty now and then. I was just doing some work in the basement. I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. I forgot to put it away after I fixed Mr. Golden's music stand yesterday morning. I left it there, and he came to give it back. The gas quit working yesterday. I don't know enough to fix such things safely myself. A man from the company is going to come by tomorrow. Yes, be careful with that. It can be dangerous. It reacts badly with heat.
I was down in the cellar, fiddling with my experiments. In any case, why on earth would I want to kill that old sod? I never had any problem with the man. What? With my wife? That bastard. <laughs> he destroyed an entire orchestra. All those musicians put out of work. A rancorous old man who had no talent or creativity of his own. I suspect there was more to that mystery than meets the eye. I'm going to look into it. Up to the clink with you! Huh? 